Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And we are here at Sander Bagger Sea Lake due to the fact that they came out with another monster fish. Now, I wasn't sure it was going to happen this week. I hadn't heard anything or seen anything for over a week, but it just was announced yesterday. Unfortunately, I was doing quite a bit yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to check it out, but we are here today. And we're going to check out the first of the missions to get to that point. That's the Sander Baggersy Drowned Mouse. So that's the bait we're going to be looking for. A huge fat-bellied catfish monster called the Black Whisker has been spotted in Sander Baggersy Lake. Rumor has it, this overweight mutant is so insatiable that it'll eat anything dead or alive. To put an end to this food season nightmare, Try making a special bait out of drowned mice that you can collect in aquatic shrubs not far from the southern docks. Alright, well we need to get five of those, so we need to track the mission here. And it looks like we gotta go on to Sander Bagger Sea. We are gonna lose a little bit of money, because I was at Weeping Willows. But I had to get this checked out, there's no doubt in my mind. I managed to make all my travel money back there, so that was nice. Now I think the Southern Docks is just right down here, yeah. So what we gotta do is we gotta look for shrubberies that we can catch these guys in. Probably just have to snag them out of there, that's what my guess is. Let me go ahead and jump on in here. I'm gonna do this on a private room because I imagine there's gonna be a lot of other people trying to do the same thing and I don't want to have to fight for room yeah let's I think I might advance time a little bit but first let's see what the peak is let's see at the peak here yeah I think what I might do is push it well I want to be able to see a little better to be honest it is a sunny day but I guess we don't necessarily need to. I need to find something that I know is going to snag these guys. No, nah, not the medium spoon. I bet I know. Let me go ahead and check the inventory here. Let's throw a crankbait on here. Shallow one. One that has a little bit of weight to it. What can this one ounce? Yeah, this eight foot should do it. All right, guys, I am back. I had uh, basically made several attempts at different locations to locate these things. Apparently, it has to be an actual bush. The reeds don't count. The um, lily pads don't count. These bushy things you see along the side is what we're actually after. And the best choice is actually located here on the map in this location. Anyway, it's right before you get to the factories over here. But if you notice along the edge, some of these bushes get kind of close. But there's one that's right out actually in the water. And as a result, I was able to catch one of these drowned mice baits so I'm gonna try this again see if we can't get another one a catfish will eat just about anything so it wasn't too hard to get it snagged right now I'm using a medium spoon now I was trying the crankbaits earlier I think you could probably use anything that's going to sink real well. Whoop, threw it too hard. Let's see, let's try that. Now try and make it go right through the bush. <laughs> First now I'm not going to get any snags. Hmm. 
There we go. And we got something on here. Let's see if it's what we're after. Yep, there we go. Your basic drowned mouse. Which is pretty nasty. <laughs> oh, shoot. Discard. That means I've got stuff I don't need to be carrying with me here. Let me see. Sometimes I get overloaded with stuff, especially... I got one of those. Is there something I could drop here? Well, let me check through here and see if there's anything I can get rid of. And that should make more room. Yeah, I'm completely full. 159 over 159. That's something you really gotta watch. I did manage to get rid of enough stuff. Had a bunch of extra single hooks that I could just dispose of because I got more of my home storage. Like number 16 and <laughs> I don't need to be carrying one of them. I need to really go through my inventory and decide what I need to have and what I don't need to have. But yeah, it's not really too hard if you can get get it to go right through and not do that. That's kind of tough not to do. And you're not going to get a snag every time, and we might not even get what we're after every time. There we go. See, now we got a branch that time. So the trick of it is, is just to keep trying. Now if there are any other bushes along here. Actually, they might work as some of these other locations too. I haven't really tried it, so... There we go. It's hopefully it's not a branch or a leaf or a boot. There we go. There's a second one. Now let me go ahead and get this started here. I'm going to see if there's another place where you can get these. Just to see if there's more than one location. Yeah, that area right there might work, too. Let's get a little bit... closer to the shore. Yeah, if you were able to walk over here, we probably could have made this work, but you can't. But I think you could cast this right behind there. Yep sure can. Alright, we just came down a little bit from where we were fishing at, and this might be another same spot, just a little bit further down. And there's some of the bush that hangs over the water. Now, I've been able to get a branch from there, but I'm trying to see if I'm going to be able to get anything else. Usually, if you can get one, you can get the other. Alright, now I'm trying a 12-foot crankbait to snag it. There we go. And there we go. So that's two places that we can get them from. First one being, whoop, Sander Beggars the Cleaner 2. <laughs> Catch a certain number of underwater items, but you can get it here 
and over here, and I bet if I threw it over there, I might have a good chance of getting another one. Aha! Hopefully it's not a branch. <laughs> And it is another ground mouse. Perfect. One more, and that's that'll do it. There we go. Hopefully that's the last one. Yep, there it is. Mission accomplished, Sander Bagger C drowned mouse. Great work. You got the drowned mouse and are now ready to hunt the black whisker. So we need to go back over to the missions. Look under fish monsters into the Sander Bagger Sea Black Whisker monster. And it says here now that you've got the drowned mouse bait, time to hunt down the notorious Black Whisker. Make sure to use the sturdiest and most powerful tackle you have, as the size and strength of this humongous monster un are unfathomable. And make sure to fish around deep holes and crevices, not from far from where you found the dead mice. So this is worth 1,100, 900, 11,900 XP, 5,660 cash, and you get the black whisker mount. So we're going to track that mission. Now, I'm pretty sure I know where we're going to need to go. Let me see here. There should be a hole right across the way from here. Yep, there we go. I would say we should go right there. In fact, I don't have any more markers left, so we're gonna have to make do. Let's see. All right. Way anchor. Now, I'm not sure how deep it is. I'm sure it's pretty deep. It's a big lake. No, it's not too bad. Let's see, we're getting close to 10 feet here. Now we need to turn towards the hole. We need to try to get ourselves positioned right in front of it, and I'm going to point this. Just like that. That's good. So yeah, it is pretty deep. 38 feet. So I'm not sure a waggler is going to work. I think we're going to need to use a bottom rod. We don't have rod holders in Fishing Planet Classic, so we're going to have to use good size bottom rod. Let me see what I got here. Um, that's not it. Well, we've got the Deep Horizon Carp Rod that might work. Uh, we've got the heavy chasers. They're both pretty heavy duty. Either any one of those will work. So I'm not sure just how big this monster is going to be. Let me try this one. I think this is probably got the heaviest gear. Where are those little buggers? Let's see here. We have them right here. They are. All right. We are going to try the bottom rod. I'm going to do a few tricks I have used at the Amazon maze to see if it works here. Thirty-three feet. Better take my tension down because I am not.
Now, if we don't get this guy, we may have to go to a peak, but it didn't say anything about having to go to a peak, so we'll just give it a try right now. Two hours later. There we go, finally guys. I think we have him. Boy, he's a finicky b finicky guy, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I was told this is gonna be a fight. That's all right. These rods can probably handle it, but no problem. He's not pulling those tricks, huh? There he goes. Well, I've got plenty of line on here. Now well, this is brought in Arapaima, and I don't think he get is going to be anywhere close to that size. Several boring minutes later. Mm. Okay. All right, now we're so close. Holding hard at 30. Come on. There he is, guys. Holy crikeys. 163 pounds. 0.569 pounds. 12,798 cash. 3,558 XP gained. He's got red eyes. Let's see what this guy looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a fish. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you could never hold anything that big. Can't even, and he's big as a shark. Jeez. Getting a picture of him, definitely. Can't even see the face of the care of my avatar. Well, there he is, guys. He is a monster. And the mission is completed, and we got, because of it, another 11,900 XP, another 5,660 cash, and two bait coins. And we've got the black whisker mount. So that was definitely an adventure. Now, it did take a while, guys. I will, I will not deny you. It does take a little while. I had to, I did use the bottom rod and I did kind of play around with it, but the location 
is right about here. I was casting out about here. And then I would slowly pull back. But we're going to go ahead and set it for the last fish just so that we can get an exact point. So he act I actually cast it over here. And got him. <laughs> but I think what it was is I actually cast it there and then I pulled it all the way over to here. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and get rid of that mark. That was just a placement mark. So there it is. So I would try anywhere around here. Do kind of what I did. It may take a while. But it will pay off. But anyway guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.